Let's talk about the general characteristics of D block elements. So under this, I'm going to talk about the magnetic properties. The magnetic properties of a substance is determined by the number of unpaired electrons in it. So two main types of magnetic properties available. One is paramagnetic, the other one is diamagnetic. The paramagnetic characteristics arises because of the presence of unpaired electrons. Paramagnetic substance are the substances which are attracted by the magnetic field. Let's move on to the diamagnetic substance. It arises because of the absence of unpaired electrons. Diamagnetic substance are the substances which are repelled by the magnetic field. Most of the transient elements and their compounds are paramagnetic and it is attracted by magnetic field. So greater the number of unpaired electrons in the substance, greater is the paramagnetic characteristics. The magnetic character of a substance is expressed in terms of magnetic moment. The magnetic moment can be calculated using the relation mu. Which is magnetic moment is equal to root of n into n plus 2 Bose magneton, where n is the number of unpaired electrons. The next one is complex formation. The cation of a d block element will be having a strong tendency to form a complex ions with a certain molecule like carbon monoxide and nitric oxide. Or it can be ion like a fluorine, chlorine and cyanide ions and these are called as ligands. You may ask me a question, what is, why it is getting complex formation? The tendency of a complex formation is due to two reasons. The small size and high positive charge density and the presence of vacant n minus 1 d arbiters, which are of appropriate energy to absorb lone pair and unshared pair of electrons from the ligands for bonding with them. Here are some of the examples tetra, amine, copper, diamine, silver. This is ferrocyanide, but it's hexa, cyano. Iron. Now let's move on to the formation of alloys. The transient metals will form alloys with each other. This is because they have almost similar size and the atoms of one metal can easily take up positions in the crystal lattice of the other. That's why they got a capability to form lot of different alloys. 